Hey everybody, Castaway Girl 7 again, and this time I'm doing something really exciting. I'm opening up a real jewelry box. I mean a real jewelry box, not a wooden, not a not a cardboard box, excuse me. And this one says, prepare to do a happy dance. And I sure hope so, because that would be wonderful. And after what the uh, seller and I went through with the post office, it will be a happy dance um and the seller i will mention is a, a whatnot seller and her uh, name is gwen's vintage kitchen but she happened to come across some jewelry so she was doing jewelry box sales and i happened to go into her store and found one and bought it so we're going to open up hey the box guys. Uh, my uh, tripod does not want to go up high enough, so this is going to be like the one arm paper hanger opening this up because I'm going to have to do it holding my camera. Oh, there's a note to me. Oh, that's private. I'm going to read it later. Maybe I'll share it at the end. This is the, the box. There it is. Oh, it looks lovely from what I can see through the and these are real jewelry boxes that she was selling, filled with jewelry. So here we are, and here's the beautiful jewelry box that I'm about to open for the first time. It looks like cedar, and it looks like it has some brass trimmings. Very cool looking, very nice. And let's open it up and see what we can find. Now, my seller did tell me because of all my hardship waiting and waiting and problems with usps that she was giving me a little extra and i'm not sure she said it was in a maybe it's in the gift bag i'll, I'll look and see later but right now we are going to open some of these bags and see what we have if i can do that <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, there's several bags in here. There's a lot in here, actually. Here's something loose. We'll take that out first. Oh, this is pretty. This is, um, oh, might be stone. This is a stretch, but it's very pretty. It's, uh, that, I think this is a real stone. And, um, not sure, but I have my gem tester. I'll test it later, but that's very pretty. Okay, we'll stick that up here on the bracelet rack. And there. We're going to start getting stuff and putting it out. Okay, so, and that was in with this. And this, the theme of this box was leaves, but I talked to her and I said, I didn't know that. I was doing it late at night and I was half asleep. And I said, I really don't like a whole lot of leaves. And so she was very kind to go in and change out some of the items. But this is very pretty. And um, it's a pendant. And it's like a tree, like leaves. And it oh it's tangled hang on folks we want to get it right okay got it undone and there it is it's a very pretty um pendant of uh looks like gold tone um and a uh, nice fine chain with an extender nice extender so if you want to make it longer very nice okay we'll stick that up here on the mannequin i believe let's see yeah, it's magnetic, but it's really pretty. Really pretty. Look at it when you see it on something. How beautiful it is. It's really nice. Okay, coming back down to the bag. That's that. That was the loose, loose stuff. Now we go into the bags. And, um, ooh, let's just dump it out. Okay. Let's see if we can get this up here where you can see. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is a little um, necklace. Tangled. Oh, here we go. Okay. Really cute. And tangled a little bit. There we go. Get it straightened out. And we'll put up it up on the uh, mannequin also. There we go. Okay. I'm getting there. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of necklaces up there, I have a feeling. Let's see. Oh, this is unusual. This, look at that beautiful pendant. Wow. That is really cool. It reminds me of Flow Blue China. 
And look at the back, how pretty. Wow, that's a beautiful piece. And it's on a blue beaded necklace with um, blue and white beads. And uh, it's long. Oh, let me get it all the way right. Oh, beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, and the necklace, I'm not going to measure it. I'm not going to do all that because I'm going to use And I'm going to hang her up on here. Okay, so we're getting a collection going. Um, and then we have a, a red necklace. I'm not sure about the, it's got a, a spring clasp. And it's red beads with uh, gold dividers. Um, I'll just start laying them over here. We're gonna get too many on the mannequin and we're not gonna be able to see anything. Um, and I don't wanna do that. And here is, is this a, oh, this is a dream catcher. And uh, very pretty. It's, um, there's the front of it. Very pretty. And it may be sterling. It's not magnetic. So that's a good sign. And okay, let's try another. Oh, well, here's these are some easy, easy bags. And this is a turquoise colored beads um, with oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, this is what they call perure or something to that effect. Whole set the earrings, the bracelet, and the necklace. And it's a uh, turquoise color, they're, I think they're wood, wooden bees with the earrings, and everything's matching. Can you see that? Okay, very cool, very pretty. Like sets, so that's a good thing. Now here's one of my leaves. <laughs> and it's not that I don't like leaves, I just didn't, didn't realize I was buying more leaves, so she very kindly changed some stuff out for me. Um, oh wow, this is pretty. It's crystal and um, silver tone leaves and a, with a lobster clasp and an extender. Um, and you can see, and then it goes into like a dog. It's actually three chains, I guess, down here at the bottom, but up at the top, it's a single. So down in this area, it becomes three. Very cool and very long also. There's, so there's three pieces. Wait. And wow, yeah, lots of stuff here. Oh, this, she wrote Sterling on this one. Oh boy, okay, Gwen. Uh, thank you for telling me. Oh, look at this, this fabulous. Oh, look at this beautiful gold rose very pretty nice thank you and um oh this is um very nicely wrote sarah coventry on here for me or for maybe she did it for herself when she was packing it i don't know but i'm gonna say it was for me um <laughs> oh look at this oh i'm seeing things oh i'm getting ahead of myself okay <laughs> oh my goodness Okay, I have, this is my first really li live unboxing. Uh, I, I did unbox something last week, but it was not very good at all. And, uh, oh, this is really beautiful. This is like, oh, what is this? This is so lightweight. Look at this, it's like shimmery. It's almost like, uh, what's that? I'm trying to remember what that term is. Um, Somebody can help me in the comments. Um, this is really pretty. This bracelet is um, two different. It's it's a brush uh, leaf and a sh and a smooth leaf and a brush leaf and a smooth on a really nice link. And uh, get it up here where you can see it better. If anybody's interested in any of this uh, jewelry, let me know. Um, no, if I want to keep something, I'll let you know too. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, you can contact me uh, through my email, um, castawaygirl7 at gmail.com. 
And also, I want to ask you to please like and subscribe my channel. I'm trying to get those algorithms moving up so that I can uh, get into a different bracket. I'm not doing this to monetize. I'm just doing it to have fun. But I still would like to have more viewership. One of my videos, shorts, that is. I do shorts and I do regular videos like this. And one of them, one of them hit over a thousand. Now, this is the one that's marked... Um, Sterling 925. And it's really, really pretty. Figure that out later. Okay. And here comes some more stuff. No, it's all mixed. It's all mixed. I'm going to try to sit stuff up here so you can kind of see it before. There's a pair of enamel earrings pierced. Very pretty. I like the colors, the aqua and the green and the blue, very pretty. Oh, look at this, this is unusual, necklace. Um, it's on a gold um, thread chain and it's, um, mm -hmm. um, this is, look at that. This is, um, is this marcasite? I don't know, well, I don't, yeah, it might, yeah, I think this is marcasite, guys, um, on a dark, um, chain, I'm not sure of the material, uh, and it has an extender, but it's very long, what is this over here, this is, um, oh, look at this, this is unusual, this is a silver ball necklace, but it's summer frosted, and some are smooth, and they're graduated, and they have an extender, and they have a lobster claw clasp. So, very cool. There's a pair, this is fun. We're, go, we're making, making a little progress, but there's still a lot there. Oh, these are clips, so these are probably vintage. And um, I'm gonna take one off. Purple stone. With, uh, rhine, with rhinestone around the border and their screw backs. And here is a pendant. I, don't, I guess it's uh, plastic or lucite or something and it it's very, has an unusual clasp. Is this like you do something like this? How do you do these? I don't even know. Can someone tell me that? I don't. I don't know how this even works. Um. Hmm. Okay. Anyhow, you see the idea of what I'm trying to figure out. So, if anybody knows how those work, can somebody tell me? Here for two hours. No, can't do that. Can't make a video that long. People don't stay in, in focused. I don't think that long. But we will try to go as quickly as we can. Okay, and this another note. Let's see. Oh, Bill Glass. Hey, now we're talking. Oh. And there is Bill Bla Oh, well, that's sure enough. Bill Glass's logo. And, oh, that is beautiful. It's intertwined mesh and rhinestones. And it has an extender. And let's see, we've got another bag. And then we've got this. And... Um, let's see what we got here. Oh boy. This is very pretty. Look at this. This is, and it's not stretched, so it's whatever size. Let's see. It's a, it's a seven three quarters to an eight. And it's got a barrel clasp. And uh, these may be real turquoise beads with mother of pearl. Can you see that? It looks like mother of pearl and turquoise. Very pretty. Very pretty. And here's a pair of clip earrings. I bet these are vintage. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you, I'm sorry, I got out of the camera again. I just have a bad habit of doing that. Um, these are all uh, leaves were the theme initially, and then that's why there are so many leaf patterns. 
very pretty. And another pair of earrings. These are cute. These are turquoise enamel colors, and they're kind of heavy. They're uh, I'm trying to rush this along, and I don't want to rush it too much. Here is a, I haven't seen a pin, a, clo a, a dress pin or whatever you want to call it in a long time. And uh, it's a leaf. <laughs> and it has a little safety on the bottom. Very pretty. Okay. And in the leaf theme, oh, look at this cute little, just for fun. Take a second. It's, uh, it is small. It's a six and a half. But it's very pretty. It's pearls and gold foam leaves. Very pretty. And let's see. What else? Oh, we have another pair of earrings. Oh, these are Napier. Napier with surgical posts. Yay. They were a long time ago, $13.50. <laughs> and I think, oh, I might have a, oh, another pin. And, oh, this is, can you see what that is? Dolphins. Very cute. Oh, that I like that. That's really neat. Living in Florida, that's a nice thing to have. <laughs> and this is, here's a leaf. Here's a gold leaf. This is a brooch. And now, look at this nice cedar jewelry box. Wow. Very nice. And it's Gwen's Vintage Kitchens on Whatnot. Have you ever been to Whatnot, anybody? I'm sure lots of you have. Oh, it's very addictive. It's not a good place, actually. <laughs> no, it's great. It really is. And um, I buy a lot of my stuff on there. And um, But I can't promote my YouTube on there. And I don't allow. You can only promote other Whatnot stores. And I don't think I'm up to a Whatnot store. That's, like, beyond my... Uh, expertise level I'm just I'm only new into this a few months so you know I can't get that out okay pretty bad look at the pretty butterfly wow very pretty enameled butterfly I have a whole bunch of them guys I just got not too long ago oh my god okay let's go back in here and see what else we can find well, these are like uh, AB crystal um, And, oh, more leaves. <laughs> but these leaves have been, that, boy, that one bracelet I, I love. Let me hang on to that. I don't know. The not silver, but very, there's a, quite a few things, actually. <clears throat> That's the bad part of buying stuff like this. Now, what is, she, oh, there's a message on the bag. A message on the bag. Earrings and <clears throat> brooch can't read it it came off oh gosh well anyhow it's earrings and a brooch and they are leaves I'm gonna put them in my hands to hold them up here the earrings are silver tone and I think there's a name on them so I'm gonna to try to tell you who it is real quick uh, Del Delsa, with patent pending behind it. So that means they're old. Patent pending always means they're rather old. And Del, now I'll have to look that name up because I don't know them. I'm not familiar with that name. I know a lot, but I don't know Delsa. So that, and having the brooch and the earrings. Oops, earring, come back. Okay, having the brooch and the earrings and their clips which is also a sign of older. These are definitely vintage. Okay, and here is, we're getting down to the end. I think there's only a couple more things. Okay, next. And they're moons. Can you see that? Cool. Very, very cute. Get around there. Anyhow. They are nice. Okay, and let's see. Oh, here's here's another leaf with some. Oh, I see a name on the back already, and I haven't even. Oh, it's BSK. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's beautiful. 
if you can see that. Very pretty. And last but not least, oh, Trafari, yay. Oh, cool. And these are earrings. And Trafari sells pretty well out of the Coro, Napier, that gang. BSK, you know, Trafari is like probably the, the top of that. Then you rise up to the next level. Weiss, listener, uh, that gang. Oh, very pretty. And they're leaves. <laughs> but they're, but they're Trafari. And they will say Trafari, 1960s maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe 70s. But very pretty. And that is the end of the box and it is empty <laughs> very nice i love the box the box is great and it's uh cedar wow that's really cool well that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed our little jewelry unboxing and all the pretty pieces here's reminders of some of the ones that beautiful blue piece and the marcasite piece and these two up here and all of this here my goodness oh great there's napier um anyhow that's it i hope you will um make a comment uh, down below tell me what you think your favorite piece was uh did you enjoy it uh you know anything to let me know that you're out there and you're enjoying my videos I get a lot of views, but comments are a little on the lacking side. And uh, I would like to hear more from folks and also what you'd like to see. Because I do shorts and I do on individual pieces and I also do uh, other things too. I also sell my husband's art. My husband is legally blind and he does, uh, he does uh, paintings and he does prints of from his watercolors and things of that nature and I've shown them before in previous videos. So if you want to look back on some of them, Cast Away Girl 7, you're in my channel. All you need to do is push the subscribe button. So I would really appreciate it and um, get those algorithms up and uh, we'll see what happens from there. So thanks for sticking with me through this if you did. <laughs> and if you didn't, that's okay too. Maybe you can catch it on another time. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. I just was putting the cardboard box away and found this inside. I believe this is the gift bag that she was talking about for all my trouble and her trouble and everything, uh, which was really kind of her. And um, I think this was it. I missed it. So I'm going to, let's see what we got. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, is this bone or I don't know. I don't know if it's ivory or bone. Experts out there know anything about this kind of thing? If it doesn't feel real lightweight like um, plastic and it has the clasp, the barrel clasp that's covered, which I think is, hmm, can, I don't know if I can get, it close enough for someone to be able to identify but it's all carved with flower I believe it's well, I'm not sure if it's all flowers but it's very pretty I think it may be it may be bone bovine okay now there's a note oh Sarah Coventry Sterling oh wow I didn't even know Sarah Coventry did Sterling that's where I'm coming from um, Sarah Coventry, I thought was just strictly costume. I had, had no idea. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Oh, look at this. It's a necklace. Well, we got a little bit of a tangle, and I'm not going to take up more of your time, but I do want you to see the pendant and the chain. It's all sterling. I know. This is pretty. And there's Leah, Leah Sophia's tag. Uh, I think I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, there it, yeah, there it is. And it's a um, lobster claw, and it's a station necklace. Wow, it's very pretty. Look at that. 
That is very pretty. Wow, that's nice. And, oh, there we go. A pair of Monet earrings. Wow, so we got all the, all the names covered here. <laughs> and uh, the little buttons, and they look like no gold loss at all. That's nice. And there's Monet right there. If you can see that. I don't know, I'm trying to turn it in such a way. Oh, and the last one is Coro. And I was just mentioning all these guys too, to you just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're pretty, very blingy, very blingy, and they are clip, screw-on clips, and she marked Coro on them. Wow, and I'm sure if I were to take them off, I could show you the Coro logo, but I'm not going to do that because we have gone way over, but there they are, they're very pretty, and I thank her very much. Uh, that was absolutely wonderful. So there's a little addition.